Welcome to the Homegrown Concert Series, presented by WXPR, Art Start, and Nicolet College. The Homegrown Concert Series is a part of a three-part project called Working From Home, which highlights local artists during the pandemic. For the next several weeks, you can join us right here on Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. for a new live concert featuring a different local musician. These concerts can also be heard on the radio at 91.7, or you can tune in online at wxpr.org. But this is just one part of the Working From Home project. The second part is a virtual tour of Art Start's Quarantine, a community exhibition featuring art from area artists. You can take the virtual tour from the comfort of your own home as you listen to tonight's concert. And third, we invite you to make some art of your own as part of the Pandemic Portraits project at the Nicolet College Gallery. Pandemic Portraits is a mail-in art project connecting us through art and the U.S. Postal Service. You can request your postcards through Nicolet and then create a piece of art on the self-addressed stamped envelope and drop it in your mailbox. The artwork that is received will be hung in the Nicolet Gallery, featured on social media, and at the end of the exhibition, it will be included in the Nicolet College time capsule, marking this historic time. You can visit wxpr.org for more information on the Working From Home project, including a concert schedule and links to the Art Start Quarantine exhibit, as well as the Nicolet College pandemic portraits. Thank you for joining us and for supporting art and artists in our community. Now, please enjoy tonight's featured artist.
Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Nate Shepard, and I'm a local musician and media producer. Um, and that song is called If Moon Were a Person. And it's actually a uh, part of a project that I uh, had the privilege of displaying here at Nicolay College, which is uh, where I am right now. I'm on the Nicolay College stage um, for this uh, Homegrown Concert Series concert. Uh, and so special thanks to WXPR, Art, uh, Art Start, and Nicolay College for putting this together. Um, but yeah, there was this event um, that, or this uh, project that I was working on with my brother where he would create a fake album cover and he would send it to me as kind of a joke. And then I was like, well, a fake album cover needs a fake song to go with it. And so uh, created a number of those and had the privilege of having those on display last year uh, in the hallways here at Nicolay College as a sort of unique installation. Um, and is just a good example of, I think, the spirit of art in the Northwoods and that collaborative spirit um, of all these organizations coming together and working together, as well as seeing art in unusual places. And so uh, I appreciate um, all of the people and all of the organizations in the area here who uh, are behind some of this. Uh, speaking of being behind it, usually I'm actually going you know, behind the camera for these concerts because um, I've been helping produce these as well. Um, and today I'm in front of it. And so my wife is currently actually behind the camera today. So special thanks to her as well. Um, yeah, uh, you don't. You didn't tune in to hear me uh, talk all the time, so I'm going to keep doing some songs. Uh, this next one is called "In Turns." This is an original.
didn't make my job very easy writing that song in E flat, um, and then it also goes into D flat for a bit of it. So it's always fun to try and play. Uh, yeah, so that is a song uh, called Interns, and actually uh, brings back some good memories. Um, a couple of years ago, I had the opportunity of playing a live show back when we could actually have people in person. Um, right here on the Nicolay stage with uh, the band Boat Patrol. They invited a, a few of us friends to come and play, and that is the song that I played with them um, with a, with a three-piece extra, three-piece band as well. So there were four of us on stage, and that was uh, truly a special night. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get back to that kind of thing very soon here. Uh, in the meantime, we get to uh, spend time with each other virtually, and I'm grateful for these opportunities to perform and share art. Um, Next, I'm going to do a, a, a little bit of an homage to the 80s. Um, I'm not necessarily an 80s music connoisseur, but I do enjoy a lot of the sounds that came out of the 80s. Um, and in particular, I, uh, one of my favorite shows is on Netflix called Stranger Things. Um, so if you're a fan of that, uh, we're in, you're in good company with me. Um, and after I'd watched the show for the first time a couple years ago, I was just very uh, inspired to create uh, some 80s style synth music. Um, and so uh, there's two songs here related to that. Uh, the first one is actually another one of the songs off of the, uh, or as part of the fake album covers project I was mentioning earlier. Um, and it's kind of this 80s love song called Heartbeats. And then after that, uh, I will play a, an instrumental that is a very much a love letter to the show Stranger Things. And I call that one Peculiar objects. A very clever name. So uh, we'll start with uh, Heartbeats.
Once again, that was pe Peculiar Objects. A uh, love letter to one of my favorite shows, Stranger Things. All right, let me do another original here. It's called Drawn to the Edge. I knew a place that I had never been Wanted to go and not come back again Drawn to its edge, and on its edge I stand. But fearful is the fall if I begin. How markedly the depths draw me. I long to broach the daunting brim. Peer across the distant sea But quickly my resolve grows thin Tell me that I won't be consumed but Tell me that I'll live through Takes me that if I get too close, I'll fall into the endless sea. But greater is the danger still that if I linger by the fringe. Apprehensive heart, your burning fire is what will set me free. Oh, I'm filled with desire for what you'll make of me. Stay with what's behind I simply fear if I breach the edge The terror I would find Now I know the truth is so That if I shy from all my shame Separate. 
go and not come back again I'm drawn to its edge And on its edge I stand And majestic is the fall if I begin Listen, everyone. That was uh, drawn to the edge with a little fun instrumental at the end there. Um, do you feel like being sad? May feel like a strange question, but uh, I've got some sad songs for you. Um, sometimes I like feeling sad. Sometimes it's a good feeling uh, to just sit in the melancholy of life. Um, but sometimes some of the things that make us sad are legitimately bad. <laughs> this is a really clunky and not at all eloquent way of saying this next song is uh, about some challenging things that I've been through in my life, and particularly about um, when people that you trust or respect let you down in a very significant way and end up being uh, not what you thought they were. So this song is called Son of Alexander.
might say I'm terrified But that would be understated I'm afraid that I will die But I'm more afraid of living through it Maybe it's an accident Or maybe it was orchestrated Whichever way it went Thing itself is never fading. that I was blind I thought that I was being patient I didn't know it at the time But we were waiting on devastation Now we're standing by Wondering who is the victim And left with frame inside Don't know who is standing Upright, and you were on your best behavior, but masquerading light, you fought against your only savior. When your time is done A stone that reads a lonely greeting Alexander's son Pain of those already
This uh, next song is a cover by one of my all-time favorite songwriters, Leonard Cohen. This one you will probably recognize. As made famous, uh, oddly enough, by the movie Shrek. Um, at least that's how I uh, came to, uh, to uh, come in contact with this song. But uh, it's a song called Hallelujah. Um, however, I like to do put my own spin on it, um, and you may have noticed at the beginning of the show I was using some weird um, vocal instrument thing going over here, and that is called a vocoder, a vocal encoder. Um, and basically what it does is it takes my voice and turns it into a synthesized instrument, and so you have this sort of choir effect there. So um, hopefully my voice will hold out on me. Uh, usually it is a hard one to perform just because it's so centered around the voice, but um, I'm going to switch over and... Hopefully you enjoy Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? Goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift, the baffled king composed. Hallelujah. 
I got a couple more for you here. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Yeah, so I'm going to do one more cover and then an original to close this out for this evening. Um, this next song is by another favorite of mine, a man by the name of Sufjan Stevens. Uh, he's probably one of the most influential uh, artists on my musical uh, career. I don't, I don't really have a career at this point, but uh, my musical sensibilities, uh, he's very, been very important to me. And so uh, this is actually a song that he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Song. Um, and so this song is called Mystery of Love. And I hope you enjoy it. And then I'll close it out with a nice little love song. So.
Well, thank you all for tuning in this evening and hanging out with me. Uh, my name is Nate Shepard. If you're interested to learn more about who I am and some of the things that I'm up to, you can head to my website, nateshepard.com. Um, and I definitely encourage you to head to wxpr.org to learn about all the other artists who are doing shows like this, uh, some that maybe have already happened and some that have yet to happen. I don't entirely know when you'll be watching this, but uh, definitely check that out. And again, thanks to WXPR Art Start and Nicolay College for uh, putting this together and sponsoring this event or this uh, collection of concerts. And a special thanks to Mike Effinger, uh, who is backstage recording us right now, and uh, Andrea, who is sitting right there, my wife, uh, who is making sure that the cameras are working properly. So uh, this last song is called Today and Always. This is a song that I actually wrote as part of a different project uh, where we were tasked with uh, performing songs for Valentine's Day virtually for people who uh, wanted to buy a Valentine singing gram kind of thing. And uh, one of the options was to have you write a song. And uh, so I actually wrote this song uh, as part of that and I enjoyed the process so much and really liked the results of this song. And so I figured I would just uh, claim it for my own. And uh, so this is a, a love song. Um, I guess this is for, for you, Andrea. Um, so enjoy today and always. Shepard, thanks for listening and have a great rest of your evening.
think that's a wrap. is that a wrap?